All right, YouTube, you probably clicked on this video, obviously, because you want to know how to use a PS4 controller on plutonium. Now I'm going to show you exactly how it is very simple. We're going to get right into it here. All right, no intros. All right, so you're going to go ahead and do DS4 windows in the Google search. All the links will be in the description as well, but I just want to show you guys how to do it. So DS4 windows. All right, go on their website. You're going to go ahead and click download at the top right corner. Skip these stupid ads. You're going to click download right here. It's going to do um, it's going to download and um, compress the file in the zip. So um, just make sure you extract it. Go ahead and click open here. Uh, no, I don't want to uh, do the uh, premium for one war. I have one war. So you're going to go ahead and extract two. And you can extract to wherever you want, wherever you feel like you're going to remember Word DS4. For the for the um, purposes of this video, I'm going to do desktop. So you're going to extract it to the desktop. You're going to go ahead and close it. Minimize this. As you can see, DS4 Windows is on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. We're going to go ahead and click ds4windows.exe. It says to run this application, you must install .net. Would you like to download it? Duh, because we want to use it, right? This is the issue that I was running into, or this is one of the issues that I was running into. So when it brings you to this page, this is not the right one that you have to download for the game. You do not download this one, okay? So you go whole over to NET right here, and all the links, like I said, will be in the description. You're going to download the 5.0 version, okay? As you can see, it's right here, net 5.0. Now, this is the one that it's making you download. You do not download this one. You download the desktop runtime version, not this one, the desktop runtime. So I'm going to do the 64 bit one. I'm going to allow one pop up here. Wait till it finishes at the bottom right hand corner. And I'm going ahead and open the application, install it. My computer went black a little bit because I had to um, make sure that I want to make changes to my computer, obviously. So we have both of these applications installed and we're going to go ahead and click on DS4 Windows. See, my controller is plugged in, so it's making it. Let's click it again. Now, as you can see, my controller is plugged in. If your controller doesn't automatically, um, if, if DS4 Windows doesn't automatically detect your controller, you're going to want to go to settings and you're going to want to go to controller driver setup. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. If you don't have it already, you're going to want to install the, the Vigum bus driver. So I already have this installed because when I downloaded DS4, it automatically installed it for me. But if you don't, just make sure you go ahead and install this driver. You don't need any of these optional drivers for this, okay? So go ahead and exit out of it. Now, you probably are still running into an issue. You're probably like, why is it still not working? I did all the things that you said, Brandon. The problem is this application isn't Microsoft application you are trying to use a ps4 controller on that application it's not supported it's not it is very new um application so you need to trick the software into thinking that you are running an xbox 360 controller it's the same controls it's going to be the different buttons so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a new profile um so you're going to do yes let's click yes for the preset and what you're going to have to do instead of using the DualShock 4 output, you're going to want to change it to Xbox 360, leave it at gamepad, go ahead and click apply. I could name it whatever for the sake of this video. Uh, let's just say YouTube and we're going to go ahead and click save. Now I have my profile here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start my controller so that to make sure it's active, I'm going to click um, YouTube. And you're going to see that I have this one selected here. So we have the controller selected. Now, everything should be running smoothly. You shouldn't have any issues. I'm going to go into the plutonium launcher. So that way you guys can see that it's not working and I'm not lying. Right. So this is everything that you need to be able to run it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click play. It's going to boot up, assuming that you ever already know how to download plutonium. I mean, there's thousands of videos on how to download plutonium all right now this would hurry up all right so now we're going to go into settings controls and now you see that gamepad is open before it wasn't open for me you're going to go ahead and click yes and now you're able to control everything here so you can do tactical 
I can do look sensitivity. I'll put it on high. And as you can see, my controller is working. My controller is working. You will have no issues using this, doing these steps. Make sure you like, share this video. I'm just gonna go into a private message to show you that the controller is working and it is a PS4 controller that it is plugged in here, all right? No BS, all right? I love this game, man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uploading more Black Ops footage in the future, um, for sure, because my, my boy just told me about this, but this is it. I am using the um, plutonium launcher here with the PS4 controller, right? No BS. All right, so make sure you guys like the video, share, comment, subscribe. I'm almost to 400 subscribers. Like I said, I will be uploading Warzone and some of this plutonium as well. All right, take care. Stay safe out there, man. And uh, I'm out, people.